Hello everyone. Right now this is the 2019 Lexus GSO. As you can see you get triple beam LED headlights, you get front parking sensors, you also get your F Sport grill. It's very nice. Also, I would like to give a big shout out to Hennessy Lexus of Atlanta for letting me come film this GSF. Get LED turn signal locators, get blind spot monitoring, get keyless entry on all four door handles, gas cap takes gasoline. Get LED uh, tail lights. Get your carbon fiber spoiler. Here's what the key fob look like. Get lock, unlock, press and hold for the trunk, and press and hold for panic. Go ahead and get inside of this one. As you can see, you get keyless entry, so all you have to do is keep the key fob inside your pocket. Right now, the vehicle's unlocked, but if you wanna lock it, just press this button right here. Locks the vehicle. And then when you want to unlock it, just place your hand right here. And it, it would unlock the vehicle. The same thing with this door. Get three person memory for the driver's seat. Get stuff touch right here. You also get carbon fiber trim right here. And also you get the very nice red um, stitching on the door panel. You also get red leather right here in black. You also get your piano um, black trim right here. Get your window controls. All, all four windows are automatic. Get lock unlock, your window lock, and your mirror controls, which are power folding and they're automatic power folding. Your Lexus door sills. You also get very nice sport bucket, um, sport seats. Get a driver car seat with two way power lumbar. And also you get your F Sport badge on the seat. Typical in GSF fashion. And also you get your original Lexus GSF floor mats. Now all you have to do to start the vehicle is have the key fob with you. Just have it right here. Push on the brake and press the button. Nice. Over here, get an air vent. You, you also get your very nice carbon fiber trim, which goes along here too. Get your traction control off, your ASC off, your ASC control. You also get your auto high beam control. Right here's your um, gauge dimmer brightness control, and right here's your ODO trip information. 
which if you press that button, it'll show you your trip, trip information right there. So it shows you the um, miles this car has and your trip A and trip B um, my, miles. You also get your heads up display controls right there. You get a power telescoping tilting steering wheel. You get a storage compartment there. You get your trunk release and your hood release right there. You also get your um, sport aluminum pedals. You get power shifters behind the steering wheel. You get your radio controls, your Bluetooth con controls with voice commands. You also get your um, controls for your um, your um, your gauges right there, and also you get your controls for the gauges right there as well, and you get your lane departure um, alert and your pre-collision system assist. Over here you get your wiper controls, and you get your headlight controls, which they're automatic. If you um, press these buttons, it'll show you a lot of things that you can do with um, the gauges, the screen. You can see your um, your tire pressure, your fuel, your gear position, all of that. And also you get your um, lap timer. You also get a g-force meter. You get a compass, your radio, your safety controls. I'm at your safety options like um, cruise control and lane, lane departure warning. Your warning messages and your um, settings right there. Oh, here is your display where you can change the settings from there. Get your tachometer and speedometer right there. Over here, get your brake hold, and this is where you can start the vehicle. Right there is your infotainment system, which is still called a Lexus M4. It can all be controlled by right here. Menu, back, map. So if you want to go to the um, home page, you just press on menu. Takes you to the home page. And then you can scroll through all these icons or these apps from this mouse. It's kind of like a computer mouse, which I'll show you how it works. So if you want to go to destination, you just press on the mouse takes you to destination and then you can like um, go through from these like um, icons you can like swipe right you can probably see what I mean by there it's, it's, it's just like a computer mouse where you scroll right left and up and down it's very easy to use radio get media right there phone I will ask you to per a phone gear Lexus app suite Get info, get your fuel consumption, your traffic incidents, like your real-time traffic updates. You also get weather and vehicle alert history. And when you go like to one of these apps, you actually have a split screen that you can also customize. You can, and sorry if, if the like, um, the screen is like, flickering or something that's just my camera doing that 
but in person it looks way more better in person. I'm just, I'm really sorry about the camera quality, but this is like, when you go in there, it shows you like a split screen. You can also um, go to this right side right here, and you can like choose it to go to radio. You can um, split screen to your phone, your um, consumption, and your air conditioning your air conditioning. And right there is where you can control your climate. And last but not least, you get your setup, which is like, you can set up your Bluetooth, your audio, general settings get all your settings right here and that's basically it for the Lexus inform system controlled by this mouse which is very nice and easy you can also like when you're going to radio you can press this enter button it's kind of like the old um, RX and the CT hybrid where you have a enter button which when you like press it and you're going to radio it takes you to radio then you can like go back to the um, home page and if you want to go to destination you would you would just um like scroll like say if you're at lexus app suite you can like scroll up that takes you to destination then you can press this enter button and it'll take you there so you can either like press on this mouse or you can press the enter button to go where you want to go. Get two air vents right there with a analog lock, which looks very, very nice. And especially in nighttime, looks very cool in the nighttime. Get your um, radio controls, get radio media preset track, all of that, and you get a um, CD changer which is um, surprising since this is a 2019 model year. You also get your um, dual zone automatic climate control and one thing that I forgot to mention is this one has the Mark Levinson premium surround sound system which sounds amazing in these cars. I, I absolutely love it. But over here you get your dual zone automatic climate control you get your independent temperature right there and also it will show you it will show it to you on there as you can see while I'm changing the temperature it shows it shows you on there and there you can also go to your climate and customize everything from there but you get your independent temperature on Mac and conditioning off your um, different zones right there, your air recycling, AMAC air recycling, your hazards, uh, front defrost, rear defrost, heating mirrors, all of that is very nice, easy to use. Down here you get three stage heated and ventilated seats for both driver and passenger side, your three stage. If you close this, has this um, very nice clean look that has this very nice um, carbon fiber looks very nice get two cup holders right there get your shifter get your manual mode right there and then once you put the vehicle in reverse get your rear backup camera with parking sensors Like I said, this is um, the controller to control your infotainment system. Right here is your different driving modes. You can choose between Eco. And once you put it into Eco, you have this very nice Eco um, gauge. And then once you, put, once you put in Normal, it'll show you a Normal gauge. And then once you put in Sport, it will show you a Sport um, gauge, and also when you put in Sport and Sport Plus, the um, ex 
exhaust or yeah the exhaust um gets louder and when you put in sport sport plus this is what the gauge look like when you go to normal then you go to sport this is what it looks like in sport and this is what it looks like in sport plus it's very nice get your um tvd control your snow mode get your parking sensors control you can slide this back and has um a ashtray a 12 volt power outlet a USB and two USB ports and AUX and you can also when you close this you can slide it however you want it you can slide it um, forward and backward and the um, center console itself feels very nice um, and comfortable the armrest feels very nice comfort comfortable and also has this um Akatara material you also get this very nice um stitching right there and even um the dashboard is very very nice you get soft touch right here Akatara right there which is which it has the blue stitching right there and also goes around there and you get soft touch right there and also right here very very nice material and also soft too you also get a very nice black Akatara um, headliner typical in F Sport fashion get garage home link with the Alden review mirror get your safety connect right there your light controls which are LED get your reading lamps right there you also get your light light right here and also you get your um sunroof controls which this one has it has a sunroof it's one touch automatic And the seats in this one they are very very comfortable plush high quality feeling they are also they're also um bucket and sport seats which they like hold you in very well and they hug you they hug you in very well which is very nice um support and um comfortable If I wanted a very nice sports car, I will definitely um, go with the GSF. It's very nice, um, wide quality, very nice, and and also it's a very nice laid out interior. Interior. You also get your F Sport um, logo on the steering wheel right there. Go ahead and get out this one. Turn on the headlights. Hazards. And also about the about the steering wheel, typical in GSF is very um, nice, heavy. It's, it's probably called the hydraulic steering, which is heavy. It's, it feels very good in your hands. And also pop the hood right there. That beep that you hear is just letting you know that the key fob is not detected in the vehicle. Same materials as the front, you get soft touch right there. You get your carbon fiber material right there. You also get your stitching. You get black um, soft touch and red soft touch. You also get this very nice Akotara. And you get the um, very nice uh, piano black trim that has storage. And you get more storage right there. I 
as you can see, I got good legroom since this is a mid-sized car. It's supposed to have good legroom like this. And you kind of have this um, large um, hump. Large hump since this is, I think this is a real rear wheel drive car since it has this um, hump right here. Get a 12 volt power outlet, get two air vents with this very nice carbon fiber trim. Get your light controls, which are LED for the rear passengers. Get storage, get two cup holders, more storage. And also you get a trunk, trunk pass through. And you get these um, very nice headrests that have the F Sport um, logo. Gas cap takes premium unleaded. Get your Lexus trunk liner. Inside of here, you get your um, tools and everything else. Also get your original cargo net and your first aid kit. And also you get LED plate bulbs with a backup camera. Same materials as the driver's side, and also you get three person memory, and you get a passenger power seat. The only thing you're missing is the um, power lumbar, which the driver's side seat gives you. Inside of here. You get your owner's meal and our literature. This is also damped in. It's also felt lines, which is very nice. You can also turn on and turn off your trunk opener. This engine is a V8 engine. Everything in here is really fantastic. Give you one last shot of the interior. Go ahead.
put the lights back in auto mode, turn off the hazards, and also turn off the air conditioner, and cut the vehicle off right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.